Uh, sorry, guys. We had to stop recording because uh, we forgot to put this in. Working. Prime time, picks. prime time picks. Uh, uh, yeah, we forgot. Work in progress. Hey, it's a rough draft. We're musicians. It's a first draft. Don't hassle us, man. All right, so prime time picks, and I'll say it again for those who don't uh, know: when we do picks for the NFL, we strict stick to the prime time games. Then we throw in a wild card, which isn't an upset. It's just a a game that we think you know we we it's a solid bet. A non prime time pick. And not Basically. an upset. Doesn't need to be one. Yeah. And then, of course, we have the upset. That doesn't need ex- explanation. So, first up, Thursday night football. As you can tell, it's the, the crappy matchups to start the season. Dolphins at the Jags. It's Fitzmagic versus Minshew Mania. It's the beard versus the mustache. It's the most boring matchup of the week. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Oh, okay. I don't well, know about it could bo- be a shootout. Board. Brandon, let's go with you first. Who do you got in this one? Man, I've been going. I've been going back and forth. Re- really, this yep. one has been. Mm-hmm. This has been a tough one. This yeah. one's a, uh, like I'm looking at this list here. <laughs> this one might be the toughest one to pick out of all three of them. Yeah, to compared to the last, it's almost a pick. Compared to the first two weeks, which is crazy, but you know, I was think I was leaning Jaguars. I was leaning Jaguars. They've looked surprisingly good, but I think I'm going to go with Fitzpatrick. I'm gonna go with. The, I think I'm gonna go with the Dolphins. The Amish the rifle. The Finns over the Jets. I think I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna go with Miami. All right. I believe in the mustache. I believe in Minshew mania. This is the thing about Gardner Minshew. He's untankable. <laughs> he is going to. He be, will not. He will not, not tank. Be the number one pick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first rounder on this team, and I'm taking him over the Dolphins. What are you doing over there, man? Leave, my, the leave my dog alone and pick some football games. Well, my pick is the Jaguars. All right. That's it. That's it. And much like last week, again, I guess he's on a honeymoon, whatever. What would you say? Paul doesn't have his picks in. Oh, I was going to say, are you talking shit to me? Because, man, yeah. watch it, pal. <laughs> <laughs> like what? All right. <laughs> next week. Next week. Next game, Sunday Night Football. Pretty exciting matchup. I actually think this will be a real fun game to watch. It is the Green Bay Packers going into the Dome. Now, I don't know if they're going to have fans or not. I know they were trying to have that happen. Talked with Paul. He says n- no. No fans He's for the down game? in NOLA. Oh. He was going to try oh, yeah, and get yeah. tickets, but they're not selling them. He's, he, he told me that. So. All righty. So I thought they were going to have fans this week. I thought they said that week one that New well, Orleans yeah, would have they fans. Were go- they were trying a lot of teams to, were first but, two weeks no, and but they then after uh, that. have decided against it. I, as yeah. of now, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, most of... Uh, you know, New Orleans and Louisiana, they, they still have a lot of lockdowns in place. So, uh, no fans. That's something to think about in your picks. Is it? Tyler, who do you got? Packers versus Saints Sunday Night Football. Um, you wouldn't be surprised to uh, know that I'm picking the Saints, but not for the reason you think. Um, I really do, uh, as bad as the Saints looked last night, if Michael Thomas is able to play this next week, I just I, I, it's hard for me to see the Saints being 0-3. It's not hard to see the uh, Packers three and zero, but I think um, I think the Saints are just too good overall to fall to zero and three. Honestly, and they'd be one and two. What they beat the Bucks. That's right. Yeah. Um, you you just wanted me to say that, didn't you? Sure. Um, what a jerk. But I'm picking the Saints. Uh, I just I again I I think I think last night was more of a fluke than anything. So. Um, it could go either way, but I, I think the Saints will prevail in, in probably another shootout. All three of the Packers games have technically been shootouts. It's not the first one, really. but I completely disagree with you. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers has turned back Father Time, and he will beat the Saints because I am, I am not sold on the Saints right now. You can be like I'm with Aaron Rodgers without licking his butthole. Hey, I mean, come I'm on, just – look, Jeez. man, I'm just saying – Either the Raiders are a lot yes, better. Turn. Either the Raider, Raiders are a lot better than we thought, or there are more chinks in the armor of the Saints than we thought. Yep. And we'll find out this week. We will. And I'm buying the cheese more because 
at no point in the first two weeks, I mean, yeah, I'd say for about a quarter and a half, Minnesota and Green Bay was a close game, hard fought game. But at no point during those first two games is I ever worried about them winning or losing. I'm taking the Packers. Mm. Packers are looking way too good right now. Mm. Yeah, that that's kind of where I'm at too. I the Green Bay is playing so well, and New Orleans is just playing Meh. not well. Yeah, yeah, they're trading Meh. opposite is a, is a good good descriptive <laughs> word for that. Meh. So I, I'm going with I'm going with the Packers as well. I, I mean, I, I hope the Saints right the ship. I hope they don't play as bad as they've been playing. I, but, I don't. But until I see it, I until I see it, I uh, I'm not, I, I can't I can't go with them right now. All right. Um, so well, then we'll go to then we'll do it. Can't talk. Monday night football. <laughs> Remember, we always complained that Monday night never got good matchups for a while. Oh boy, they changed that. Um, this is giving me very heavy 2018 Rams Chiefs Monday night football vibes. That was one of the greatest football games I've ever seen, and I, I think it's going to be the same. But I mean, come on, how am I going to pick against Patrick Mahomes and the Saints this year? Now I know they're not going to go 16 and 0. Chiefs. Did I say Saints? Ugh, gross. The Chiefs. Sorry, man. I don't think they're going to go 16 and 0, but uh, pretty damn close. They're going to win this one. G- good hard fought game, but I like the Chiefs over the Ravens. Tyler, uh, I'm picking the Chiefs. Um, or sorry, I'm picking the Ravens. Um, I think uh, the Chiefs did look good. Um, they they do have one of the top you know kickers in terms of you know those close games. That's really handy to have. Um, they have a quarterback uh, in Patrick Mahomes who it's difficult to ever say die to, um, especially after last year's playoff run. Um, so, and and for th- largely three quarters on Sunday against the Chargers, they looked subpar just because the Chargers had a game plan. And how about Justin Herbert, man? We haven't talked about him at all. What a what a debut uh, out of nowhere, actually. Um, but just wanted to say that. Uh, I I think <clears throat> I think the Chiefs will win a lot of games this year. Uh, but I think the AFC West is a lot more uh, competitive than any of us think. Um, and that'll bear out in the next couple couple weeks. I think the Ravens will beat the Chiefs. I think if the Chiefs and the Ravens meet in the playoffs again, that the Chiefs will win. But in the regular season, I'm giving it to the Ravens, especially because they're playing better than the Chiefs are right now. All right, Brandon. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going with the Ravens as well. I like. I Ooh. like. I like Lamar. I like the run game. I'm going with the Ravens. Wow. I'm I'm shocked. I was the only one to pick, pick the defending champions. Let's go back to Brandon. Wild card pick for oh, the weekend. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, do you know, are we at a restaurant? Do you need a few minutes to look over the menu? <laughs> yeah, uh, it took me a while. Too. I'm going. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Give me Indy. I'll, I'll, Whoa! I'll, I'll take the. I'll give me Indy over over New York Jets. I, I think that. Well, okay. I think that seems like a pretty safe. That's one. a safe bet. Yeah. So I'm I'm going with it. Two bad teams. You picked a slightly. You know, that. Is it like two broke girls? My wild card, um, this worked <laughs> pretty much. This worked for me last week. I say ride the hot hand. I am taking, for the second week in a row, my wild card, the Buffalo Bills. Wow. Uh, they are going up against the Rams. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be a good matchup. Jared Goff, Josh Allen. I, Bills are I, at home. I like the Bills at home, even if there aren't fans in the stands. Bills Mafia, rise up. <laughs> Tyler, uh, wild card. For the... Th- no, I don't think it's the third week in a row, but definitely for the second week in a row, I'm going to do... No, I had... Uh, Falcons were my upset last week, right? Yep. Second uh, week Falcons in a row. Falcons are going to be what? my... Um, Have my, you learned nothing? Falcons are going to be my wild card. Uh, I think they are going to beat... Um, God dang it. I don't have it anymore. Where is it? Uh, they're at, at home against the, the uh, Bears. Chicago Bears. Um, I think... I can see that. I think the two teams that they played and beat have capabilities to come back and, and uh, offensively. I don't think Chicago does. So even if Chicago puts on their best defensive, you know, thing or, or their best defensive performance, I think the Falcons prevail with their offense, and Chicago isn't isn't able to score enough points to win, even though they're keeping the Falcons uh, to uh, small numbers. So I'm picking the Falcons over the Bears at home. Brandon, oh, you're gonna make me pick first again. <laughs> I'll pick. Oh no! Wait, yeah, please, you're, you're right. You went move first. On. Yeah. yeah, and mine is uh, stupid too. Me, so this will make going. you look. This will make you look real good, Brandon. My upset of the week is uh, the uh, Cincinnati Bengals over the uh, Philadelphia Eagles at <laughs> Philadelphia. You're gonna tell me the Eagles are gonna go zero and three? 
Yeah. Wow. After after let's go back three weeks and uh, listen to the preseason show because I totally picked the Eagles to win the NFC East. Did I not? You did. Yeah, my tune has changed. Yikes. All right, uh, I I'm just kind of shaking it up. I, I got I went one and four last week. I am. I gotta. I'm still not sold on the Cleveland Browns, so I'm gonna go crazy with it. I'm taking the football team, the Washington football team That's over the Browns. The second Washington football team pick in two weeks. <sighs> it's maybe fake. Didn't work last week. Maybe it'll work this week. Didn't work for me in the Falcons either. So let's hope. You know. I had the Broncos last week. Oh wow. man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Chicago. I'm gonna oh, go with Chicago. Oh, you're doing the opposite of uh, Tyler. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Chicago over Atlanta. It's not a bad pick. I have no reason. I don't <laughs> think Chicago's that good, but well, Atlanta they'll get a big lead and blow it. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a, it's a small amount of it's line. A, it's a good. Uh, we we see Chicago come back. And Atlanta <laughs> blow leads. So. Right. Here's the question. And Chicago's defense is, is probably the best one they've faced so far this year, I yeah. think. So, uh, once again, Bears, right? That is uh, how we will wrap up primetime picks. It's <laughs> such a weird thing. I just did an action movie. <laughs> 